Okay, so I wanted to do a video for um, top 10 essentials that you need for your makeup kit. Now, for those of you that are brand new in buying makeup or have had your mom's or your sister's or your friend's makeup but don't really have your own, um, but want to make sure that you know, you're purchasing the right things because building up your makeup kit can get expensive, but over time and building up, it's a lot easier that way. But the, the 10 things that I believe that you definitely have to have in your makeup bag. So number one, um, definitely eyelash curler. Um, I didn't discover this until, until I was at least in my 20s. Um, but an eyelash curler is um, an essential for every woman. Um, when you curl your lashes, it makes the biggest difference. Even if you leave the house and put a little bit of blush, you don't want to put mascara on, curl your lashes and you're done. Um, and this is amazing. So an eyelash curler, any good one will do. Um, I love um, these eyelash curlers and they also have travel size eyelash curlers as well that you can actually throw in your handbag. So number one, eyelash curlers. Number two, some tweezers. Um, for those of you that don't want to tweeze too much of your brow, but you just want to clean out the middle um, here, tweezers you always need. I don't know why, but you always tend to need, if you get little stragglies on the side here, you can kind of just pull them out. Um, but tweezers are amazing. So that's number two. Number three is mascara. Um, I'm definitely, I would never leave the house without putting mascara on. Um, even if it's, unless I'm heading to the gym or going to swim in the be on the, at the beach or something, but mascara is essential. Um, it can, it just opens up my eyes. I love it. I can't live without it. That's my, my huge, that should be number one on my list. Uh, number three is a lip balm with an SPF of minimum 15. Um, this is definitely essential, especially for today. And if you want, um, I have a number of different lip balms with a lip tint in that has an SPF, which I definitely love. So that's a great, great thing to add to your kit. Uh, number four, no, number five is a primer. Um, I definitely think that one should invest in a primer. Um, the great thing with a primer is you can use it on its own. Um, for those of you that don't want foundation but kind of want that um, soft looking canvas or to balance out your skin, um, this is just, this is great because also if you do want to use it in conjunction with foundation, the foundation doesn't sink into your skin and into your pores and it also long last, it's long lasting so your foundation will stay all day long. Um, with the primer. I love it. Um, it's the, it's fantastic. Uh, number six is a concealer or foundation. Now the reason I say or is for those of you that have fantastic skin, um, you don't even need foundation. Um, it's, you know, just because it's out there and ready to buy, you don't necessarily need to put foundation on your skin every day or even when you go out. Um, what if you did want to create a bit of a lift um, concealer is more essential um, for under eyes um, around the nose area for any redness um, but again you know these two are essential but I would put them under one uh, and number seven actually I'm at number six number six is eyebrows um, I definitely think for those of us that have over plucked uh, myself included, over plucked our eyebrows. Um, definitely either an eyebrow pencil, an eyebrow gel, or a powder, whatever suits you. If you want to get um, the, I, I like the idea of a pencil because you, again, you can throw it in your handbag. Um, if you're going to stay somewhere overnight, you just throw it in there. You don't need to take a brush um, like you would to use a powder or anything like that. So, um, again, definitely essential for your makeup kit okay number eight definitely number eight now <laughs> so, I did very well in mathematics in school so I don't know what's going on um, so number eight is um, blush 
So blush is essential. I love wearing blush. Um, not too much, but definitely not too little. Um, a blush is essential for your kit, um, whether it's a cream blush, a liquid blush, a powder blush, um, any blush, different types of colors, but definitely number eight on the list. So definitely invest in and start with one. I mentioned quite a few there, but definitely start with one. And then number nine is um, a highlighter and a bronzer. Um, you can either, or you can have a blush or a bronzer, but definitely having a highlighter just to highlight um, your cheek, your, your cheekbones, down your nose, on your upper lip, um, under your eyes, you can use highlighters. So there's so many great ones, MAC makes, NARS, um, gosh, I can go on every single makeup line you can think of makes highlighters, whether it comes in cream form, liquid form, powder form, um, they all come. So um, definitely essential for your kit. Um, and then last but not least is a loose powder. Um, I often get the question of what's better, is it compact or having a loose powder? It depends. Compact is great to throw in your handbag. Um, loose, I prefer in a sense you don't use as much. Um, I can have a loose powder and it can last me years and years and years and years and years. Um, and a loose powder just absorbs any excess oil um, as opposed to a compact where you kind of have to wipe. A loose powder you can just dust on with, um, with a powder br um, brush. So a loose powder is, is essential. So those are my top 10 that you definitely need in your kit to do an all over um, makeover. So I hope that helped. Um, I know it was pretty basic, but again, it's for those of you that are starting out to build your kit. Um, and you can get, I um, know for so many, I can spend hours in, in stores like Target or um, in the UK if you go to Boots or any one of those. Um, they just just have an array of different um, you know drugstore type makeup lines to choose from and they're fantastic really they're fantastic so um, if you have any questions um, feel, feel free to um, pop me a note or send me an email but I hope this helped and good luck with um, buying all your essentials for your first makeup kit